Okay, so here's this laptop. It's taken apart because it wasn't working for some reason. It's a Samsung R530. Okay, and that's the interior. It's empty. All the components are on this board, one single board. That's very nice. That's the front cover. It contains the touchpad, the keyboard, the speakers. This is one piece also. That's very nice. And some back covers and CD, DVD. And a lot of screws. Okay, let's take a look. So, the motherboard has the two memory modules, a big chip, a card reader, USB, HDMI, internet, graphics and power, a big cooler which has two heat pipes. This is maybe is the graphics chip maybe that's the graphics chip i'm not sure that's the processor it has an intel processor 2.2 gigahertz okay that's the it has a mac address so that's the wi-fi that's for the hard drive serial 88 connector okay that's for the battery connector and here's the fan itself it would be spinning here are the audio and the microphone and that's about it on this side and on the other side here we have the clicks for the mouse left and right click we have the battery for the bios to keep the settings okay that could be a speaker the fan, the connector for the keyboard and mouse, another connector for something here on the side, yes that's for the CD DVD drive which is here, okay let's check this one, so that's the speaker, another speaker, here is the power connector I mean the plastic button because the power itself is somewhere else it has to be somewhere okay whatever I'm not sure exactly where it is okay that's the two clicks from the mouse they are connected through this cable the larger one larger one is for the keyboard these are for the speakers and that's about it here we can see the keyboard itself it has these two few connectors maybe it is held by these two screws i'm not sure currently it's not yes it's moving probably some adhesive is holding it Okay, but it's one single piece, it's not falling apart, and that's very nice. This one came out in one piece also, so let's try to put it back somehow. I think it was this way, yes, because the memory modules are below, and I have to push in the left side, the connectors, okay, it's in. First I had to put the metal part below this point and then it entered. Here are some connectors which come from this USB port I think or maybe the monitor I'm not sure. The monitor has this connector also. That one goes here. Just push it in. These are very fragile plastic things. Make sure you don't break them. And this one is a bit deteriorated already. Okay, that's for the CD DVD drive. You have to, let's see, can I do it with one hand? 
Oh yes, that was below somehow and open up that small one and push in the blue one and now push down the black one CD DVD drive that's the connector and that's it that's connected I have to put on this one of course I have to connect this this and this first and that's not too easy something like that and then put back a lot of screws here in the back these screws and those two and that's it the laptop should be assembled okay and the top cover has these small clips all around something there also the entire motherboard and cooler assembly is held by that screw so take out that one and the rest of them are below on the other side okay so as you can see this cable belongs there that one belongs there and this one belongs here so that one has to be raised this one has to be raised also and the other one has nothing you just have to push it in oopsie the metal part came out from the plastic Okay, so these two are connected, this one and that one, it's not too easy, I use the knife to reach till there, okay and now just press down. There are two screws here also, the CD DVD drive. 